Welcome in YouTube to part 8 of Morgan and Atari's adventures through Stormblood. In this part, we are going to start off by doing our level 65 gunbreaker quest. And then we will move into, um, back into the MSQ where we will hopefully get to the next trial and be able to do the trial in this part. And see what happens there. Maybe we can finish up everything in the Ruby Sea for now. Let's hop on over to the game and see how things are going. So our gunbreaker quest is here in Limza. Right over here with Radavon. You'll be pleased to hear that the Yellow Jackets have offered us an assignment. After taking on more than we'd bargained for with our previous clients, we're hoping this one will turn out to be relatively straightforward. We haven't heard what it entails yet, but I bet it's something important. A man called Futag Yafutag has arranged to meet us in Bulwark Hall. Let's go and see what he wants. Where is Bulwark Hall? Just down below? Alright. Thank you for coming at such short notice. Time is of the essence. So I'll be brief. We want you to protect Goldwhites. He was rec he was until recently leader of the Flaming Mongrels. They were once a gang of raiders, but eventually settled in Limza Lomensa to extort and rob their way to a position of considerable influence in the criminal underworld. That all ended when Goldwhites turned himself in. No one saw it coming, not even the other Flaming Mongrels. He's due to give testimony in exchange for a reduced sentence. And not just about the crimes he committed himself, either. All of the gangs he's had dealings with will have ample reason to silence him before he spills his secrets. He's currently being held in the Moraby Dry Docks. Your job is to see that he reaches Limsa in one piece. So you want us to act as bodyguards to a criminal? I don't like the sounds of that. We'd be protecting the information that's in his head, which could be used to bring countless other lawbreakers to justice. It sounds like a worthwhile cause to me. It is, and before you ask why we're hiring outsiders, it's to avoid attention. If I pull too many Yellow Jackets from their post, the gangs will figure out what's going on. Better to give the impression that it's business as usual while using professionals like you to escort him in secret. We still need to secure the route, so I'll go on ahead and see to the preparations. Come and find me at the dry docks when you're ready. Before we begin, we should find out more about this Gold Whites. While it's important to place our trust in the client, I don't want to repeat the mistake we made last time. Alright, so now we need to go talk to the locals around the Octant. There we go. I see two of them right there. I see all three of them. So we'll start here. Oh yes, everybody has heard of the Flaming Mongrels. Their modus operandi is to offer loans, increase the interest to the extent that their mark has no hope of ever paying it back, and then forcing that poor soul to obey their every whim. You. If the rumors are true, the Flaming Mongrels are involved in most of the money lending and extortion that goes on in this city. Goldwhites was at the center of this web, overseeing every aspect of these clandestine activities. Now that he has finally found the decency to give himself up, I imagine that his former associates would rather he kept quiet concerning their dealings. I'm not at liberty to discuss an ongoing investigation. I can say, however, that many Yellow Jackets believe heartless curs like Goldwhites deserve nothing less than death. He and his rogues have left only tragedy and despair in their wake. Mercy would be a waste. And then Radavon's over here. Did you hear anything useful? Yes, it's just as Futag Yafutag said. Gold White certainly has a lot of enemies on both sides of the law. Radovan, it's not too late to refuse. Think about what we're doing. Trust me, I have. Now, let's say no more on the matter. We have a job to do. Okay. Now we're going to teleport to the Moraby Dry Docks. Alright, and there they are. All set? Good, then it's time to bring out the prisoner. I 
Our percent gold weights, Scourge of Limsa His life's in your hands now. Guard him well. Thank you kindly. Hmm. Are you sure you've got the right man? Quite sure. Now listen carefully, this is important. We've scouted the road ahead and we've spotted a group of unsavory figures lying in wait. The plan is to put them down and rush past before anyone realizes what's happened. Well, if that's how you'd prefer us to handle it, then very well. But we'll need someone to take the lead and cut through their ambush. I choose you for that role, Morrigan. Show me how far you've come as a gunbreaker. The rest of us will stay close to Goldweights and fend off any that try to flank us. Futag, I give you my word that we'll get him to Limsa Lomensa, even if I have to carry him there. We're depending on you, Morrigan. Once you've cleared a path, we'll be right behind you. We'll regroup at Oskin's Embrace and assess the situation before moving on. They did make a ninja, the assassin. That's kind of cool. And just like that, it's a little grindy, but they're dead. Oh, there's another one here? Oh, it's right over here. Okay, I guess that makes a little more sense. Because I was like, they did say it was an ambush, not just a single target. Ooh, and this one's got two people. All right, we're gonna take out the, the tank first. Who seems to be dying faster than the ninja did? They're probably not mitigating. There, he's down. Now the Dragoon should die even faster. And he dead. Oskin's Embrace. I actually like that we're doing this in the cover of night, too. Like, that seems like a really perfectly planned transport of a prisoner. A pretty poor attempt at an ambush. Without the element of surprise, they're nothing. Yes, very impressive. But I'll save my thanks until we reach Limsa, if you don't mind. Bring bad news, I'm afraid. Those men weren't here to ambush you, they were only lookouts. The bulk of the enemy force lies ahead. We'll take the prisoner to a safe hiding place until those rogues have been dealt with. What? Why wasn't I informed sooner? Because you're part of the ambush. We only just received the information ourselves. I'm to take the prisoner into custody while you are to return to your post until further notice. As for the hirelings, their services are no longer required. Now hold on a moment. Look, if you've got a problem, take it up with Com Commodore Rayner. They're his orders, not mine. Alright, you've made your point. Well, that's that, I suppose. Nevertheless, I'll see that you receive the full amount as agreed. It was a pleasure working with you. Something's not right here. Hmm. Something about this doesn't add up. Surely it would make more sense for Futog to go with them. Besides, our agreement was to see Gutswise to Limsa Lomensa, and that's exactly what I intend to do. You two, come with me. Oh, <sighs> it looks like the shoe's on the other foot this time, so I can hardly refuse. Come on, before he does something we'll regret. You got it. Luckily me, and luckily them, I can fly. Yeah, look at that. They've gone past Limsa. Sneaky, sneaky sons of a... Did they take him to the cave up here? Oh, they were right in front of the cave. She took him inside. If my guess is correct, there's no time to waste. 
Nothing for it to, but to follow him, I suppose. Oops. Stop this at once! Stay out of his cell sword. My friend's dead because of this filth. He's got no right to live, so why would you protect him? Because I gave my word. Though he may be beyond redemption, he acts not for his own sake, but for the good of others. His testimony will make Limsa Lomensa a safer place. Now, lower your axe. Thank the Twelve you got here when you did. It didn't take long for us to find out that it was all a ruse, but by then she'd already bought enough time to carry out her plan. Luckily for us, the three of you weren't so easily duped. Of course, she's not the only yellow jacket to bear a grudge against Goldweights, but I never thought any of us would go to such lengths. Ah, <sighs> a fine bloody mess this is. While we may have been waylaid somewhat, our orders to escort Gold White still stand. Before we go, I want to thank ye for all ye've done. Truth is, I ain't got long to live. Even if I can escape having me head lopped off, the sickness will get me sure enough. You could have lived out your days as one of the leading figures in the underworld, rich and powerful. What made you turn yourself in? Since afore I can remember, I've been cheating and killing to put food in me belly and gill in me pocket. And I was good at it, too. Worked me way to the top. But the top of what? A bunch of liars, swindlers, and murderers. When I found out I only have a few moons left, I realized. Them's as the way it is because of people like me. And it ain't gotta be that way, though. Not if I say my piece. In that case, we'd best get you to Limsa post-haste. Aye, before I kick the bucket. Lead the way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think we just teleport to Limsa now, right? Not the most direct route, but we got here in the end. All that remains is for Goldwhites to give his testimony on behalf of the Yellow Jackets. I offer my thanks. You catch your word. Now it's my turn. Fare ye well. Hmm. Every city has its problems, this one more than most. It is high time we moved on. Seeing as we've been to Alamigo, Gridania, Ulda, and Limsa that just leaves Ishgard. Oh, I don't exactly thrive in cold climates, though. Just get yourself a decent overcoat and you'll be fine. Well then, let's be off. And she did get herself a nice overcoat. I'll admit, it's a fair bit colder than I was expecting. Not that it's anything to be concerned about. That's easy for you to say. You'll soon get used to it, I'm sure. Anyway, Morgan... It seems that instead of offering work via an adventurer's guild, Ishgard's temple knights issue levs. Although there do not appear to be any clients in need of protection, it is only a matter of time before something comes our way. Until then, be sure not to let your skills or your gunblade grow rusty. Alright. Now we'll head to Tamamizu. And continue the MSQ. Come to steal our most precious treasures? You will pay for this sacrilege! That's the spirit! Now don't be shy. I'm more than ready for another round. Seize them! What 
in the world? made us whole. Hark! A great Kami stirs. Yes, yes. A great Kami of the sacred treasures. Oh, great Kami, we beseech your intercession. We who have guarded your blade and glass for generations, your faithful Kojin. Thou didst freely deliver our jewel unto thine enemy's own treasure vault? <laughs> How auspicious we do commend thee, daughter of man. Such audacity is deserving of celebration, exaltation, a contest of wills to mark the occasion. Let lines be drawn, let sides be chosen, and for their loyalty we shall stand with the caretakers of our greater part. Oh, perfect. A contest of wills, just what we need. <laughs> Hearken to us, shelled ones. Upon this day, your wish shall be granted. Curse neither your fate nor its executor, children of man, for we are of the divine, of both heaven and earth, the ringing silence, the raging calm. All riseth and falleth at the whim of capricious fortune. Assume your marks upon the stage and embrace the coming chaos. Susano, and in revelry do we rejoice. That, that's a primal standing in front of us, right? And a horde of angry Kojin at our backs. Oh, this contest is getting worse by the moment. Lise, help me clear a path. Leave them to us and save your strength. You'll be needing it soon enough. Make way! Make way! I just realized that my microphone's been muted, and I don't know how long it's been muted. Of course we help them summon a primal. Spoil not your appetite for the feast, children of man! The dish will be served, whether you will it or no! <laughs> Hopefully it hasn't been muted for too long, because then I'm going to feel dumb. But we'll find out when we go to editing. And if it is, there's probably just going to be like a really weird jump cut as we come back to this point. Because just watching video without voice, like even me talking, is going to be not fun for you all.
And if that's the case, then to summarize from who, who knows how long ago it was, uh, we stormed the Kojin Castle, essentially, and I've gone too far this way. Freaking A. Uh, we stormed the castle and delivered the thing to where it was supposed to be, the vault, and now we are dealing with a primal that we helped fix up. Unintentionally, but summoned nonetheless. <sighs> that, that was not part of the plan. A Kojin primal was most definitely not part of the plan. Though I am sure there is a perfectly logical explanation involving the ether stored in the treasures and the religious fervor with which the Kojin guard them, or something. <sighs> A pity Alfino isn't here to provide it. And just when I thought our fortunes had changed, I swear. If Soroban and his people knew this might happen. No, somehow I doubt that. Even the Reds seem surprised by what happened. All rises and falls at the whims of precious fortune, does it? And the same goes for him. We have to defeat that primal. Yes, we do. As before, our numbers limit our options. I wish I could claim to have a brilliant plan, but I don't. All I have is a desperate one. Lise, you and I will do our best to draw the Kojin away from the Primal. We'll lead them on a wild dodo chase all over this isle. The rest of the plan I'm afraid you can guess. I'm sorry, Morgan. I truly am. But neither of us can even approach Susano, much less hope to defeat him, which means you're on your own. Well, who knows? She does have an awful lot of adventurer friends. Maybe some of them decided to take a fishing trip to the Far East and are surprisingly close by? Yes, and I speak fluent Hengen. Come on, there's no point putting this off. Well, let's go trigger this so we can have... the thing pop up where it's like, you may now run this duty. And then we'll re-equip our glam. The Pool of Tribute, now accessible. Woo! Hell yeah! Instapop! We just watched this scene. <laughs> say this fight's fairly simple. <laughs> and we do have a nice split for like our party. We have a regen healer, we have a shield healer. Hmm. <laughs> 
There was no stack marker with that one. There it is. How a heart sing in the chaos! I have wanted to do this ever since I saw this the first time when I ran it as uh, DPS. I know the clicking is probably annoying, but I need to do it. And it should happen a second time? Try to move it away from the uh, thing, so you all don't have to hear it as much. Rejoice! Resilient souls, I salute you! Hell yeah, it does. Earth and stone at our beck and call! Like, see, they mark that tank buster. The seas part for we alone. Such ferocity. Ah! This was a fun one to grind extremes of. Now, granted, I've only extremed it unseen, but it was fun to do. We've left a giant crack in there. I got three commendations. Let's go. I feel like it's going to be cutscene or voice sake. Voice acted. Meanwhile, off the coast of Hawthard. Nary a peep from the shellbacks, sir. It's enough to make one wonder. The Red have sounded the alarm. The Isle of Zeki under attack. Fierce fighting in the stronghold. The vault breached by outsiders and strange tales from deep within. All this the Red cannot ignore. Even now, they abandon their posts and flock to the Isle. The Garleans are powerless to stop them. Sounds like our plan's working. I'll be damned they did it. Well, Captain, wages notwithstanding, I dare say we will not have a better opportunity to drive the Imperials from Asari and rescue our men. On the other hand... Nought was put in writing, but if your mind is made up, then that is that. I should add that if you were to change your mind, none would gainsay your decision, nor think you beholden to your past. 
Nor would anyone begrudge you a spot of revenge into the bargain. Like the little miss said, we knew this day would come. He's fucking smart. <clears throat> well played. Isari may be a rotting husk, but at least the tavern keeper never watered down his drinks. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well said for a temperate man. I like how they all, like, lower their heads just off screen to put their masks on. Hear me, comrades! We made a bargain with the Aeorsians, and I mean to uphold our end of it. I mean to remind the Garlians that this is our sea, that all here belongs to the Confederacy. All that is theirs is ours for the taking, and take it we shall. We will strip them of everything they hold dear. <laughs> and then there's just Soroban chilling. Hell yeah. I for like I I mean I remember the story, but I've forgotten a lot of what happened in a lot of these scenes. This one is iron. My hands will break before he speaks. Oh, come, he give me strength. Are you good at anything? I had hoped this might prove more productive than blind inquiries, but I see you are determined to waste my time. Very well. Line them up. Kill one for every question he refuses to answer. Oh shit. Hurt them, and you will get naught from me. You have given me precisely that thus far, so what have I to lose? Mark me, Samurai. I will find Lord here, be it with your help. Or with your heads. Perfectly timed. Um, you will pay for that. The Confederacy. They've come to save us. And this, after I took such pains to cow them. Even pirates have their pride, I suppose. Enough to march to their deaths, no less. Oh, the stupidity of it all. Bum bum. It truly is a sickness. I shall just have to lance the boil. Drain them of every last trace of honor and compassion. Every last drop. My lady, I... I'm going outside. Oh! Oh! That was a very close cut. The Kami are not finished with you yet. There's no end to them. They just keep coming. Then we must be doing something right. We have to hold out for as long as we can. She's counting on us. You guys are doing great so far. S Suzano is slain! Slain by the shellless one! And we just
just walk out calmly. Is it true? Did you defeat him? Well, in that case, how do you fancy helping us keep the Kojin occupied until the Confederacy make their move? There. Looks like they've already made their move, Lise. Speak of the devils, that's coming from Isari. I think we've done all we can here. Let's withdraw and make for the village. Hell yeah. Right. Although, they don't seem keen to let us go. Hear me, Kojin of the Red. We have no quarrel with you, only your Imperial Masters. No more blood need be shed this day. I pray you let us go in peace. You dare speak to us of peace? Your flesh will feed the fishes, thief! Attack! I think who stops this one? Or do we just go nuts and kill Now's her? our chance. Don't worry about her. She can handle herself. Okay. Oh, I didn't... I didn't glam my gun blade. That looks like she stabbed him in the dick. I can't let you take all the glory, can I? <laughs> I think Alice is a secret warrior of light. I genuinely do. And she just hasn't came out and said it straight up because, you know, she doesn't want to make Alphano feel bad. Oh, that's right. Dive back under. You can't use your mounts up there until you've gotten the ability to fly. So we'll go underwater until we're much closer to the shoreline. So it's less that we have to swim up above. There's Lise! I can see her! Lise! The person that I'm supposed to talk to, probably. Yep. Hold on, Lise. I can't sprint yet. I haven't gotten my breath back. I think we're safe. I didn't see any Kojin following us. Wait here. I'm going back for Alize. She stayed behind so we could escape. So that you could escape, not me. And that was a mistake. I should have been the one to stay behind, not her. So I've got to go back. If we lose her, I'll, I'll never forgive myself. I, I was the one who dragged you all into this. It was my fight, not yours. I knew that from the start, but I also knew I couldn't do it alone. But I've asked too much and not and let too but I've asked too much and let too much happen to you all. I have to make this right and I have to do it on my own. So let me go, please. I'm asking you as a friend. I have to help her. You could start by finding me a towel and some bandages. Oh. Alize! What? Why are you looking at me like that? I said I was going to distract them, not make a heroic and ultimately futile last stand. Who does that anyway? 
For the love of... This is stupid. You're embarrassing yourself and me. Shut up and let me have this. Right, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now then, we need to hurry back to Asari. I don't see any soldiers. Do you think the Confederacy drove them off? Something definitely happened here. I see several people who look like they might be injured. Let's give them a hand and find out what we missed. Do I need help? Oh, I'll be fine. It's nothing that won't heal. You should go after Lise. Hold on, before we go higher... There are people around here. If there's one... Thank you, my child. When the fighting started, I tried to run and hide, but fell and could not regain my feet. I thought for sure that we would all be slaughtered, but the pirates drove them off. I never thought I would see the day when the Confederacy came to our aid. I just jump up there? Come on, there we go. Ah! Oh. You're not an Imperial. Is it over? Seems to be. Kami be praised. I was certain she would have us all killed and burn Asari to the ground, or kill us after making us watch, or barricade us in our homes before putting them to the torch. Alright, now we go up higher. Industrious pirate. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who saved me from the Dolman Catchers. Thanks to you, we managed to rescue the fishermen and my kidnapped comrades, one of whom joined the Confederacy with me long ago. It would have broken my heart to have had to bury him. Oh, and if you're looking for the captain, you'll find him in the tavern. And then I think... <laughs> as I get stuck. Back already? What have you learned? At the tavern, you say? In that case, we should find Lise and speak with him together. Let's go, Setsu! My Eorzean friends. Saw the smoke, did you? A pity you did not come sooner, though I gather you were busy elsewhere. We were indeed. Glad to see you all, Gazetsu. though. Setsu! You're alive. You're all alive. And full of vim and vigor. <laughs> <laughs> Did I not tell you I was no stranger to chains? The fighting cannot have lasted long. Where are all the Imperials? Fled. They stood their ground for a time. Until it became clear that their Corjian reinforcements would not be coming. We took some few casualties. But my deeper regret is having let Yotsuyu slip through my fingers. That bodyguard of hers may be a half-wit, but he's a mean bastard on the battlefield. In any event, I imagine all involved are satisfied with this outcome. So far as the Empire is concerned, the Confederacy attacked Asari in retaliation for the Viceroy's actions. And without the aid of insurrectionists, I might add. Suffice it to say, we are prepared to be the subject of their undivided attention for the foreseeable future. Doma shall be free, this we swear. Don't do anything reckless, so you say. Don't do anything reckless, even though you are pirates. Nor you. Our fates are intertwined now. If you fall, so do we. Your assistance would be most welcome. Nevertheless, 
We shall do our utmost to spare you undue danger. We are already in your debt. Nay, little miss, all debts are paid. For by your deeds, many still live who elsewise would not. Let both parties count their blessings, and may fortune continue to favor us all. You still seek to bring freedom to our people, then? You will go to Yansha. I have faith that our allies yet live. Once we have found them, we will plan our next step. Hell yeah. Yansha was the crucible of the rebellion. What happened here pales in comparison to what Yotsuyo did there. Remember this. Fear changes men. Have care in whom you place your trust. Maybe we go to Yangsha first and then the Azim step. And with that, we must take our wounded home. Oh, your shellback friend sends his regards and looks forward to your next meeting. Try not to die before then, eh? Hey, Osetsu. Though he is less than the picture of perfect health, Osetsu is, re re is ready to resume his journey. You did well, Morgan. Were it not for the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. My webcam is back now. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I also knew that if any could win them over, it would be you. Truly, yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy's gift. Yangsha and my countrymen await. There is a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me. This is the tunnel he was talking about, I'm assuming. Now we should get a cutscene on the intro to Yangsha. Oh, meanwhile, then the shores of Arthur. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries if thieves can breach our vaults. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts. And without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? Oh, snap, did she kill them all? Lady Yotsuyo, pray forgive us our absence, but our home was under attack, our vaults plundered by outsiders. Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! Oh, she angry? There's naught to be gained in belaboring the point. 
All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! Yep. That was about how I remembered it. No. No, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There... there needs to be some investment. There were negligent imbeciles deserving of punishment, but it was hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single doorman. Ooh. An imp Is that an Imperial one? Hmm. And what do we have here? One of the vaunted treasures of the Red? The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make amends. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeorzea. Is serving me really so unbearable? At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! Ooh. If you are so desperate to earn a way back to Eorzea, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. I think she gives that sword to Xenos. If I do remember correctly. Oh my. I remember the silence, how the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall. And through a great Magitek field, we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope. So much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word. So I know we can't pass through the force field, but I kind of want to see what happens if I, like, ride on a mount with someone who can. If it, like, stops them from going through it, or if it just kicks me off. I'm curious to know. Mm, yes, this is far enough. Ere we proceed further, I should speak of Yonksha and what became of her. Of what lies beyond that great wall at the heart of Dolma. We should be glad to hear it, but is it wise for us to have this conversation here, on the road out in the open? Once your caution would be warranted, but no longer. Xenos did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yatsuyu to act in his stead and quit these lands for fresh sport. The acting viceroy was no less merciless than her master, 
Without warning, her men would march into village and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then as quickly as they had come, they left. Satisfied that the memory of the purges would keep the people in line, she relaxed her grip on Yanksha. What need for the leash when the dog is broken? The village of Namai lies to the west. Though I doubt the Imperials are present, let us proceed with caution. Aye, aye. There she is, the humble village of Namai. How delicious her rice. How sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my own eyes. And for a mercy, the Imperials appear to be absent. Thanks so much for watching, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed part 8 of Final Fantasy XIV, Morgan and Atari's adventures through Stormblood. We defeated the Primal Susana, and we have arrived in Yonksha for the first time. And we did the level 65 Gunbreaker quest. So, all in all, let's say it was a pretty successful video. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know if you're enjoying these shorter videos. And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash calebgames here. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, usually starting around 9 and 10 a.m. Pacific time. I hope to catch you there. Have a good one, YouTube. Take care of yourselves. I'll catch you later.